What's going on, everybody? I'm your online host, Eric Three the Second. I'm here with NBO reporter Scott McDonald. We're here to talk some Sheridan John Glenn football. So, Scott, what key players should we look out for in this game? Well, the first key player that you want to look at is Dylan Dupler. Last week at Zanesville, he got banged up a bit, but Coach Culver did say that he was cleared to play in this game. That's going to be a huge advantage for Sheridan and the Generals offense. Next, you want to see is Matthew Stewart, that is Muskie's quarterback. He's a dual threat option, he can run, he can pass. Last week, he had five touchdowns, five. Wow. And so, as we saw last week, Zanesville really took advantage of Sheridan's inability to contain a dual threat option. So that's what they need to do. They need to get him outside the, uh, outside the trenches, along, along the boundaries, have him pass. He will be a big difference in this game. So you kind of already touched on it, but what do the teams have to do in order to win this game? The first thing Sheridan needs to do is they need to take care of the ball. Coach Colford told me that was one of the mo main components that they were trying to improve on. Last week they had three turnovers against Zanesville. Week one they had five turnovers against Granville. Luckily they did win against the Blue Aces. Another thing they need to do is lean on the big guys up front. They have five seniors up front. That's going to be huge in this game. It's going to be huge to lean on those guys when they need to. Third key is contain, like we said, Matthew Stewart. Five touchdowns last week. He's going to be a huge problem if they cannot contain this man. And for John Glenn, their three keys, they need to contain Dylan Dupler. The second key is they need to let Stewart free. Let the man play. Let him loose. He is a dual threat. He is an excellent quarterback when he is able to play in the system that he wants to. But number three is play loose. Do not reflect on the past. None of that matters now. It is a rivalry game that you've been blown out the last 10 years, eight and two, or you're two and eight, excuse me, in the last 10 years against the Generals. Do not reflect on that. It is about the now. That is what they need to do in order to come away with a victory. The present day, you mentioned it, but at the end of the day, who's gonna come away with the victory? Although John Glenn has a much better chance than they have in the past, I still believe Sheridan comes off. They come, they just, they're going to bounce back from the 17-6 loss against Zanesville, and they're going to get the job done. Dylan Duper is going to have an, an excellent day against this musty defense. Hey, that sounds good to me. You can follow us across all forms of social media at Gridiron Glory. You can follow your boy as well at Junior underscore three. Scott, thank you. We'll see you guys next time.